Everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Still just outside Glasgow, as you can see, in a hotel, but it is day six of our B52 uh, Beer Advent Calendar. So let's crack open uh, window number six, see what we've got. There it is. Now, fun games trying to get it out. Right, we have get that away. Right, we have uh, the Wild Beer Co. A beer called Pulsar. It's a hazy session IPA, which comes in at four point seven percent. So very sessionable beer. Um, we've had a few of these before. I think I've recorded a few reviews of these. They've always been pretty decent, quite fruity. Let's see what we got with this one. I get it out of the can. Out the can into a glass. So that's looking good. That's poured a hazy amber colour. Got a good one finger, tight, fluffy white head, and. Yeah, the, some carbonation still happening in there. So it's like an aroma, shall we? It's definitely fruity on the aroma. Bit more peach than anything else. In fact, all I'm getting through on there is peach. So just peach, fruit. On the row, let's see what it tastes like, shall we? Cheers, everybody. Good level of carbonation there. Quite, um, quite muted on the flavours there, though, I have to say. Um, yeah, very mild, but the, the peach is coming through on the flavours. A little bit of sharp grapefruit as well. But you know that's all we get from there. So it comes in waves, so the, the peach is quite subtle. So that moves out of the way and gives way to the grapefruit flavours, which is giving a nice zest. It's a nice zesty grapefruit, and that's bringing with it a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of bitterness. It's definitely fruit. There's a little bit of little tiny little spicy element to it as well. I'd call it mildly tart as well. Well, that's probably just the grapefruit, the zestiness of the grapefruit doing that. But it's a very drinkable um, IPA. Doesn't taste anything like the what is it? Six point. Oh, it's four point seven percent. So yeah, it's not too bad from a flavour perspective from, from, from there. I would, it is crisp, it's light. For being honest, I'd probably like the flavours in there to be a little bit stronger. That peach is nice, and if that peach was a little bit um, a little bit full of flavour, it'd work nice in this. Right as it is, it's a very decent sessionable IPA. Got to score that, 7.5 out of 10. Cheers everybody, thumbs up if you like the video, consider subscribing for daily beer reviews, if you've had this yourself let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Cheers everybody.